Just when you thought you'd figured out TV streaming services, here comes Pluto. It's fast, as in free ad-supported streaming television, a trend that's been around for a few years in the U.S., but is now being introduced to Canadian viewers. What we do is, you know, we create, we program the channels for, uh, for them. We, in a way, are trying to solve the products of choice by bringing well-created linear channels to the end users. Unlike streaming services like Netflix, Amazon, and Crave, where videos are exclusively streamed on demand, Pluto, run by Paramount in the U.S. and global TV parent company Chorus in Canada, will have channels dedicated to specific shows, both old and new, as well as the news, all of which will run 24-7. CBC launched its own fast channel this week called Explore. Viewers will have lots of choice, minus some flexibility. And while there will be commercial breaks, the app is completely free. Free is a good price uh, for the users and they will uh, need to watch some ads in exchange of really qualitative premium content. The advertising element is the one industry watchers in Canada are keen to see play out. Will millennials, who have become accustomed to getting what they want when they want it, sit through a two-minute commercial break? But I guess I'm a bit of a doubter because I think people now that are involved with and like streaming, one of the main reasons they like streaming is because they don't have to deal with advertising. Viewers aren't watching TV the same way they were 40 years ago. And while choice is a good thing, it can also be expensive. Will Canadians buy into what Pluto is offering? They don't have to. It's free. Microlight, Global News, Toronto.